Hey guys, I have an art journal page to share with you today. And I'm starting out in my spiral bound art journal and the pages are five by seven. And I'm starting out with a layer of collage page mat and I'm also putting down the Tim Holtz um, tissue wrap. And I'm squinting it up a little bit with my fingers to get some of the texture. Um, this is a page where I use some of the older Dina Wakely supplies because um, just because there's a new release doesn't mean that we can't show love to the old stuff, right? <laughs> Actually, in all honesty, this page I made like a couple months ago and I don't know how it slipped through the cracks. It's edited and it just needed a voiceover. I don't know what happened, but so... Anyway, that's that. So I'm starting out with some scribble sticks, or next I should say, not starting out. Uh, next I have some scribble sticks, and this one's in blushing, and I have the um, funky silhouettes, um, the negative, right? I can never remember, the negative um, part of the stencil because it comes with the mask and the stencil. So I'm tracing around the outside of the figure with my blushing scribble stick. And then I'm gonna add some um, buff Dina Wakely Media Acrylic. Oh, the stencil's by Dina Wakely, by the way, if I didn't say that, which I don't think I did. So yeah, I'm gonna um, add a little buff and add a little blushing, the acrylic paint color blushing. And um, the paint, since it's um, liquidy, it helps to activate the color of the scribble stick. But really, I used blushing because I knew I wanted to use the pink and buff color, and it, it it'll blend in and not um, not really stick out, so that you really notice that I I traced the image. Um, this page I made for one of the Our Mixed Media Moods um, challenges where I think there was like a lot of pink colors and that's why all of my little figures are pink, but I didn't end up using it for that. So that's why they're all pink or that's why I chose the colors I chose anyway, I should say. So along the bottom for a little like horizon line, I'm using some Dina Wakely Media Acrylic in the color Night and I'm taking some of that extra buff that I have there on my craft sheet and just kind of working that into the night to get a little lighter variation of color of the night. And then I'm gonna um, take a little baby wipe there and kind of remove some of the paint so you can see the tissue wrap underneath so it's not so opaque, so as opaque. And then I'm gonna take some um, gesso, I think this is heavy body gesso. Um, yeah, it's Liquitex Heavy Body Gesso, and I'm just going to apply that to the rest of my background, and then I'm going to also add a little bit of buff, just so it's not like one solid color in the background. I'm going to dry that, and then I'm going to take a palette knife and a little bit of the elephant paint color and kind of scrape that starting at the horizon line and scrape it down. It's going to catch on some of the texture from the tissue wrap and that's pretty much what I'm going for. And then I'm also going to do the same um, with the white gesso and the palette knife scraping it across the top of the background. And then I'm also going to obscure some of my figures with that um, palette knife as well. I really like the way that looks um, when you like scuff up some of the images with, with the palette knife. It looks really interesting to me, in my opinion. So now I'm going to try to add a little bit of shadow to my figures by using the elephant scribble stick. And I'm just going to outline their one side like the light is coming from the left side and I'm gonna add a little bit of water then to blend it out and then I'm just gonna go back and forth with the water and the scribble stick until I'm happy with um, how it looks and I'm gonna make sure to do that to all of my silhouettes and then I'm also gonna try to add a little bit of shadow um, all over to the to the three figures that are in the background there so that you can tell that they're behind the two in the front. And I'm going to add a little bit of a magenta scribble stick and activate 
underneath that with some water. I just wanted a little bit of darker pink tones in there. And then I also tried to add some white scribble stick, but it really didn't show up, so I really could have skipped that step. blushing color to the figures in the background. They just weren't contrasting enough for me. And then I'm also going to add in some more of that buff to blend the blushing and the buff together. Now I'm taking some black acrylic paint and um, really outlining those figures there to make the ones in the background look very, very shadowy. It's all about, um, for me, working up the layers until I'm happy with how it looks. Uh, more often than not, when I put the first layer down, it doesn't look how I want it to look, so I just work at it and work at it and work at it until I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, so now I'm taking a Viva Las Vegas stamp, stamp that says not all who wander are lost and I'm just inking up the part that says lost and stamping it on the one figure that's by herself. Um, I stamped it over there because you know there's a group of figures to the right and then this one is off by herself so um, she has a lost stamp like maybe she's lost, she's not with the group. Whether she wants to be with the group or not, you know, whatever. That's up to interpretation, I suppose. But I just thought um, it would be nice to add a little something to that figure because it is very, very plain with the colors that I have. Just the pink and the um, navy and then the white in the background. So there's not a lot going on, even though we have that tissue wrap in the background. So yeah. So um, then I took a fine liner that has white paint and airbrush medium in it and outlined the bottom part of my figures. And then this one is a fine liner with black paint and airbrush medium and a little bit of water. And airbrush medium is just an additive that you can add to acrylic paint so that it's thin enough to go through an airbrush machine, but it makes it thin enough so that um, it can go through this fine tip. Of the, of the bottle. It just makes it more fluid without losing the color because if you add water it will lose the opacity or the intensity of color but if you add the airbrush medium you still keep that um, intensity of color. So yeah I put uh, I wrote you are not alone with the fine liner and um, that's going to be my main sentiment and that's it for this page. Pretty simple using some of the last release from Dina Wakely and yeah thank you guys so much for watching 